book, Living Spring, written by Francisco Cândido Xavier, dictated by the Spirit Emmanuel. Chapter 6, Accept the Correction. It is true that no discipline seems pleasant at the time. It seems painful. Later on, however, it produces the peaceable fruit of righteousness for those who have been trained by it. Paul, Hebrews 12.11 the soil is lacerated and torn under the pressure of the plow. However, it is not long until beautiful flowers and delicious fruit burst forth from its straightened furrows. When pruned, the tree loses a lot of sap, becoming undernourished and ugly. However, in just a few weeks, it acquires new robustness, manifesting beauty in abundance. The humble water leaves the comfort of the spring undergoes the demands of movement, reaches the great river, and then shares in the grandeur of the sea. What occurs in the simple sphere of nature also occurs in the complex realm of the soul. A correction is always hard, unpleasant, and bitter, but for those who accept its instruction, it always results in the blessed fruits of experience, knowledge, understanding, and righteousness. The soil, the tree, and the water must bear correction because they have no choice in the matter, but the human being, the champion of intelligence on the planet, is free to accept it and harbor it in his or her heart. Hence, the problem of personal happiness will never be resolved by avoiding the reparative process. Heavenly correction is obvious in every corner of the world. However, very few accept its blessings, because most of the time such a gift does not come wrapped in ermine, and when raised to the lips, it does not taste like candy. It is clothed in thorns or mixed with gall under the guise of a curative and salutary medicine. Therefore, do not waste your precious opportunity for improvement. Toil and struggle, pain and obstacles are means of purification that we should make use of.